Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Anna Friedrich and on this channel I usually start my tutorials with my bare face and I end up looking something like this. This is the clip from my latest video and I have to say this one has to be one of my favorites. And for today I transitioned back to like a dramatic, grungy type of looks. So this is the look which I'm going to create for today. Hopefully you like it. If you do, stay tuned and just keep on watching. In this tutorial I'm gonna keep my focus on the eye makeup but I'm gonna show you all steps I took to achieve this look and mention every product I use. If you're interested to check more infos or if you're curious about the tools and brushes I'm using simply check the description box because everything is listed down below. Foundation I went with is even better skin from Clinique because it's my current favorite long lasting foundation and I don't want to use anything else because once I'm done with this video I'm going directly to my work. I already filmed a makeup tutorial and a review, first impressions on this 3am eyeshadow palette from Sleek Makeup. It's a limited edition unfortunately, but the color theme is beautiful, the quality is nice, the shades are pigmented and easy to blend, and this brand is affordable and if you're into these colors, I recommend basically all of their eye divine palettes from Sleek. You can see me applying several coats of this matte burgundy purple shade because I want to create smoked out dramatic spotlight eye. But if you're looking for a less pigmented and lighter application, simply use less product. And I'm switching to smaller blending brush to pack on more pigment and then to blend the edges and diffuse any harsh lines, I'm going all over with bigger, fluffier brush with no products at all. For my crease shade, I picked shimmer version of basically the same as shade I already applied and I'm gonna place it in the inner and outer perimeter of my lid, leaving the center untucked. And I've used this shade wet on flat brush and once I'm done with this shade, I'm gonna decide what to apply on the very center of my lid. I love spotlight uh, eyes cause this technique can make your eyes appear bigger and there's just something appealing about this pop up in the center that makes your eye even more sparkly and spot on. In the center of my lid I went with the lightest pink in the palette and I'm gonna blend the edges with that shimmer burgundy shade, no worries. To make it pop even more I uh, went with the second layer and uh, if you want to you can add some topper, glitter or pigment on top just to make it pop even more. I decided to use pure white glitter and this one is from Linda Halberg Metallic Mysteries Volume 1 palette. This one along with uh, Enchanted Secrets which is a quad of duochromes are the most used and loved palettes from my entire collection. I went on with a tiny brush and applied it in the very center. It's a pity cause the glitter is not that visible on the camera as in the real life. I applied the same shade on my inner corner and uh, I'll finish my eyes later on. So now I'm gonna complete my base but as I already mentioned I'll talk you through every product and step I took but I won't go in any details about them. With the one contour stick from Revolution I contoured my face on all the usual areas even though I consider this more of a cream bronzer rather than a contour stick. Then I went with Huda Beauty Over Achiever Concealer and to set my face I've used Linda Halberg Infinity Loose Setting Powder underneath my eyes and on the rest of my face I used Travel Touch Powder from Guerlain. Contouring and Strobing Powder Palette from Pupa is well used on my channel along with bronzers from Guerlain. This one which I use today is Terracotta Trio in Dark. I mix the both of uh, the lighter shades and then before I apply highlighter I set my face with fixing spray from Revolution. This orange battle is coconut and vanilla scented but I actually prefer cucumber scent which comes in a green bottle. Once my face dry down almost completely I apply diamond glow powder from uh, Artist Couture in shade Illuminati. And you can finish the lower lash line with the same 3am palette, you can keep this look monochromatic and apply that burgundy shade along your lower lashes or you can make it a little bit softer with lighter brown but I'm gonna completely skip this palette and instead I'm reaching for black kajal. I tight line my upper lash, applied it into my waterline and smudged it with a small pencil brush. 
Whenever you're using cream products, you have to make sure to set it properly. So I picked a black eyeshadow and I'm using mono eyeshadow in shade Black Heart from Revolution. You can use any black eyeshadow you own and uh, first I'm going all over this kajal with pencil brush and uh, packing on some pigment on. And once it's set, I'm switching to a small blending brush and dragging it lower to smoke it out. For final touches, I'm using the same technique and the same clean blending brush as I've used before. To finish this look, I'm going with the eyeliner and I'm gonna skip the wing, but I still want that thin black line, so I'm gonna apply my false lashes and they will just look more naturally connected to my eye. You know what I mean. Then I went on and applied black mascara from Guerlain, so volume and second guessing lashes in style everything. I picked these cause they are winged and so they are giving me cat eye look but they are not too thick so you will still be able to see my eyeshadows through. Monochromatic look with burgundy mobile lipstick would look amazing but I decided to use Nudie Patuti from Wet n Wild which is a cool tone brown nude and just to make it a little bit warmer I apply tiny amount of warm brown lip cream in the center. I'll list the shade down in the description box cause I can't remember at this moment. So this is the final look, hopefully you like this video, if you do don't hesitate to click the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything and it means me a lot. Thank you for watching, enjoy your day and bye bye!